Y'all really out here making these parents suffer for no reason whatsoever. Anyway, smooth talk over action? Hmm, that is the question. Yes, so Ray got the grilling that they were talking about before. Okay, he was on trial, yet again, different setting. And, um, what is it? Godmother and dad over here of Brittany gave him the pepper. But it wasn't too bad, to be very honest. He got off lightly. But again, I don't know what these people are doing because... It's so unclear what is happening and what is really going on. But anyway, we're going to get into what they chose to show us. Here we go. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hi. Okay. Let's cover this up and look like this. So the anchor monitor... Yes, that's, that needs to be covered up. So, Brittany's like, wear something nice. And this is what he comes up with. Put this on. You look good, babe. I knew she was going to say that. I, <laughs> I just knew she was going to say, you look good, babe. Um, Why are you allowing... Why are young people like, oh, I'm going to meet the in-laws. Crop top. Oh, I'm going to meet the in-laws. Rip jeans. No. No. In their j days when they were all young... They were dressing smart, you know, looking good, handsome. They could go to an interview with what they were wearing. These days, people just don't care. Yeah. So she, the dad is outside and the godmother, they're outside of Britney's house. And she had this amazing plan to get them outside the house, lure them there, and then be like, <laughs> I kind of have a surprise inside and it's not a new puppy. It's not a new dog. Okay. It's my boyfriend who's been to prison and i know you don't like that but this was the only way i was gonna get you in here anyway do you want to meet him i don't know why he's playing games as old as she is but hey -ho. he's out and so i didn't even know she was here. out so this is so i wanted you guys to meet him uh, yeah he's yeah he's in here just chilling chilling that's the word they don't want to hear chilling whilst you're working two jobs no ma'am Anyway, he's there, scared for his life, <laughs> looking out the window. I know what mom said. Mom said no, but will you go in and meet him, Dad? What can he say at this point? I'm How you doing, Mr. It's one of our time to drink. All right, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, okay. We had any good jobs and stuff, so when was you acting so quickly? So, he had good jobs. Okay, so how the heck did you end up in jail? That, you know, it got you in. I was young and just being kind of lazy. It was just a money thing. And it's not just a money thing. The fact that his mom got, you know what, when he was five years old and he had to grow up without his biological mother and all these things. All these things had an effect on him. He just doesn't know it. He doesn't know how to talk about it. He probably doesn't know how to l correlate the two when he's talking to people, when people are asking him. You know? And I hate I made that decision. But how will it Because it looks he's talking about it was just a money thing, but it looks like he already had money. Because he comes from money. Or maybe he's been in prison that long that his family has now accrued this amount of money and wealth and that's why we're seeing the nice house and stuff like that. Because that's another thing. We never get to the bottom. I I don't like this season. These last episodes of this season or however weird that they're doing this thing. We never got to the bottom why this guy seems to come from such a rich place. We never got to the, the, the bottom of, is this guy hiding something? Because it really, really looks like he is. Like he would have some other chicks on the side. It, it, it's just weird. This federal offense affect you in the future, you know? My plans are I get off of the, the ankle monitor and I can go to work. I can this man just asked you, how will, you know, your offenses, how would they affect you in the future? He's not asking what you're going to do. He's actually ask, asking in your situation right now that you've created for yourself, what are your limitations and how is that going to prevent you from actually having a stable household for my daughter? That's this guy's real question. And sometimes you need to put yourself in the shoes of a dad who wants the best for his daughter. And no, mm, this is, so this is what he's talking about. Okay. This is the place that he's coming from. Mm. This can't go off the first appearance. Exactly. Just him being there, oh yeah, okay, he's tall, okay, he's handsome, okay, that's fine. Nope. This woman's like, 
I can't go off that. Like, how? Prove it. How are you really going to get... How, prove it. When she was in one relationship, my daughter was hurt, tremendously hurt. And I'd be damned if I go through that again. He didn't say if she goes through that again. If I go through that again. You know the stuff you put people through when you're dealing with nonsense and you refuse to let nonsense go or nonsense will not let you go and everybody else has to suffer because they're hearing you cry and they're, they're seeing your tears and they're hearing they're hearing you. It's very bad. I'd be damned if any man put his hands on her again. If you're not sincere, then don't waste my time. Hey, small talker right now. He's a smooth talker. You know, he's saying all these things, and then I'll get a job. What job? Have you even, you're in home confinement, but you can call around. You can, hey, this is all during Coro time, so you can do interviews online. The job doesn't have to be now, now. Some of these jobs are, they put out now, and they're available months from now. I don't know if you can do that, but it would show seriousness, and it would show that you're trying to reintegrate into society. You know? So with that being said, I don't know what he's really doing. It would have been better if he said, oh, and I filled in 50 resumes already. You know, resumes, was it? Applications. But no, he's just there. I'll get a job and then I'll do this and I'll do that. And I'm like, so how do you know you're actually going to be able to do all that? I just think it's kind of fast that you move him in your house. It is very fast and very scary. You don't know this guy. Yeah. And he ain't got nothing lined up as of yet. I mean, yeah, he's talking. He got the plans and stuff. And you still working two jobs and everything. Ain't nothing wrong with him staying at home for now until he figured out. Yeah. Exactly. Give it to him. Give him the pepper. Because he has a house to go to. So why didn't he stay there? Figure yourself out. Get a job and all that. And then you can, you know, plan your wedding marry whatever whatever and then now when you've seen that this guy is not completely crazy completely wild dodgy then you live together these are the normal steps these are the normal ways of doing things y'all but everything's upside down these days fall down. it's just how they get up right so you it's not about how you fall down it's how you get up and that is so true but how is everybody going to make sure that this guy actually gets up because people like this need a lot of support guidance and they need a lot of accountability partners. You know, the main reason why some of these people go back to prison is because all their friends are still doing the wrong things. And they don't have a bunch of friends from prison who are now out who are like, hey, let's not do this. Now we're turning a new leaf. We're doing things differently. You see? You know, I, I just wish it will. Oh, that was sweet. Aww. Girl, don't cry. You better have me to start crying. Just take some time for your mom. You know how she is. I know you're going to tell her this. Can you? No. Well, I'm going to let you handle it. <laughs> I love her that. Love him. Love him. Love him. I know you're going to tell mom about this. Why should he? This is none of his business. You wanted to keep this a secret. You've been all doing all this behind their backs. And he should now bring this news. Huh. He's going to go home like nothing has happened. Okay, you have a nice meal set out for him. They'll laugh and kiki and he'll be eating mm, 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 delicious. And they're going to go to bed and that'll be the end of it. She's not going to ruin his night or his mother's night. No, that is not what is about to happen here. You created this mess. You're grown. Go and tell your mother yourself. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I like that. And now approach. he can really get out here in the real world. And he was driving her car. Very expensive car, too. Get adjusted. Start working. Oh, because the ankle monitor is off, by the way. And hopefully meet my mother as soon as possible. Stuff hey. Home, you know. Yes, gifts. So he's like, okay, very soon I'll be able to buy gifts when I come home. And she's like, yes, gifts. So glad we're on the same page about that. We already have. You see his face? That guy doesn't mean that. You want to buy her gifts and then... Uh, All these plans and little babies running around, so... I Just randomly. Yeah, we we'll have little babies running around, so... Like, these people talk about children like it's nothing. Like it's a puppy, and even a puppy is a lot of work. I feel like my time... And needs a lot of commitment. My clock is just... She's always talking about her time clock. Is she not the one who said her eggs are shriveled up? I'm getting older, I guess. This type of pressure, guys, do not like. You, this conversation needs to flow. It doesn't have to be the woman sitting there, and I want to ring, and my eggs are drying up, and it's like putting so much pressure on the man. Stop it. 
get some help. That's just terrible. Hmm. Um, I feel like my time clock is just, I'm getting older, I guess. I don't want to be like a 40 year old mom. So that definitely has to happen like sooner than later. And he's just there. Like within the next year? Yeah. Maybe two, three years, something for the marriage. So the baby should happen within the next year because the babies is something that you can own. These are your kids, your genes being spread, okay? That's something for you. But the marriage, the thing that costs a lot of money, engagement ring, wedding rings, venue, everything, food catering, blah, 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 DJ, yeah, blah, yeah. That can wait. Have the kids first, the biggest commitment of all, and then do the wedding part at some point which is never gonna happen when a guy talks like this you better know or you better run three don't you think uh, have the kids in the next year and then have the marriage in two or three years why a lot of people your parents included mine would ask why are we doing it the opposite way no no not your parents including mine would ask brr, you want to know why this guy wants to do things upside down that's what you need to say and stop putting everything on your parents and his parents and yada, yada, yada. That's not it. You yourself are not okay with that. Communication. No, I don't think so. What about... That's a lie. He doesn't think that they would have a problem with that. Are you for real? At this point, you've met her father. You've met her godmother. You already know the deal. Come on. So you're going to be an ex inmate The reason why he's talking like this is because he's never going to come to that. You're going to be an ex inmate and all that come in just be making her a baby mama have baby after baby and you think in the meantime nobody's going to question your your actions that where is the wedding where is the real commitment if you're just a baby mommy you can just grab his kids a few of his kids he could do whatever and bounce but if you're married that's a real commitment I'll be engaged that's cool we can be engaged as well Although you can still bounce, but hey ho. No. It's a lot more paperwork behind it, so people usually don't or try harder to work it out anyway. No, I don't want to hush ring. No, you. Yes, hush ring. Oh, yeah, you, even if you get engaged, you just keep you engaged for years. Engagement doesn't mean anything, it's just a ring on your finger, quite literally. Give me the and there's no paperwork behind it. You just take it off, and that's the end of the engagement. Ring, and then three years passes, and we're still not married. Don't worry, your days are coming. You'll get. So he looks at the bill and she says, your days are coming. Mm -hmm. We all hope so. Pay for everything. You'll pay for everything. I don't know if that's enticing. Man, in my word, I stand on what I said. That's it. Oh, well, Brittany is still waiting for a proposal from Ray. This is, uh, <sighs> and Ray got a job and hopes to meet her, her mom soon. So still hasn't met her mom um got a job we don't know which one still don't know why he seems to be so affluent still don't know a whole bunch of things does he have secret girlfriends on the side maybe they're gonna extend this season even though they said nah. no you know when they saw that summary like of what what has actually happened now that they've stopped filming usually that's it that's it with the couple we're not gonna see any more of them unless you're roaming around social media you will not know what's going on with these people's lives so i guess that's the end another couple that i'm like meh I don't know, just not a lot of information. And then you do all this watching and whatever. And for me, editing, reacting, the whole bunch. And you come to the end of it and you're like, so what happened? Like, what, what was this all about? Like, it wasn't juicy. There are no real conclusions. Nothing really happened. People are keeping secrets. You can see it in their eyes, but it's not coming out. It's not being filmed. It's not, it's not coming to light. Ugh very frustrating and very boring in any case if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bumps thumb pass on the subscribe button comment because i really want to know anything like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell watch out it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily ish videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless so as i said in my last video stay tuned to my last review on friday on love after lockup and i'll have a very special message after reviewing that video so stay tuned okay bye